Well, welcome back to another Pascal's Wager video. We are officially in the DLC. So every time that you tried to backtrack, if you came in um, from the, what is it, from the wagon or whatever you want to call it, the caravan, I don't know. If you walked off into the distance, it would say, hey, you can't go here. You don't have the DLC. Well, you know what? Now we do. So we went to Hedgem, what was it? Yeah, we went to Hedgem and... We walked out in the mist, and then here we are. And I started filming because I didn't know if it was going to be um, some big crazy something. You know? I didn't know if it was going to walk right into a cinematic and whatnot. So, anywho, this is the item that you buy from... I'm, that was a totally blank in there for a second. From Viola. Um, I liked this one. I was hoping that in New Game Plus I could buy another one because I'd replace this. This has lower stats, but it has been, it's been convenient a handful of times where something stupid happens and then you survive with one hit point and you can pull it out. So this is worth wearing, but if I had the option of having two of these, I definitely would. And then you get attack increase when your health is lower, so that's kind of nice. Um, we did kill the boss right before you go into the underworld after Teresa, and we got another one of these so I could run two first seeds. They're both plus four because I have plenty of resources to get anything up to plus four, but I'm out of resources to plus five things. But I did plus five the egg. I did that right before I got the second of these. I don't know. I feel like two eggs would be better than two first seeds, but it's it's close enough. And that's mainly just because um, the attack increase when the hit point is when hit points are fall. I feel it's pretty good. I like how it, it supports a playstyle of you not taking damage, and then it's more damage, and then I run two of these. You can craft these. You do need some sort of a quest item, so you have to get new game plus to have two of these. Uh, yeah, but you need a quest item to get this, then you can craft one. But I like that regenerates some health when landing some successful attacks. Some of these fights, like uh, the proxy fight, goes on and on and on. It's just a long fight. And, like, I have a very glassy build. You know, there's some exceptions. I mean, I've got, I've got some defensive items here when this could be... I could have this attack thing, I guess. It's not a lot of attack. Could I have to do this? Characters will remain in the abnormal state. The risk of lunatic. And it's been a brief fortune of puzzle. You can't even modify this one, you know? So I don't know. Anyways, just, there's just more value here. So other than a couple exceptions, I have a very glass DPS focus build, and I'm just kind of giving you a little update on what, what's what. All of the talents of Viola and of the dude are... Let's get some volume up here. All of that is pretty much maxed out. That's a little bit loud. Cannot be open right now. What? Oh, can he just sell Walk me? Defend. What if he sells me everything? Wait, what? Walk defenseless into the black night, and you will be torn to pieces. Why don't you find something to light up the darkness? He's supposed to be a merchant. Yo. Am I not able to do this yet? We definitely can't do that. What? Maybe I need to pick something up. It is not happening. Huh. I'm kind of curious if each zone has their own little DLC area thing. This was what we run into when we uh, were in Hedgem. So I'm wondering if the other locations have their own little DLC extra areas. This was like the mist camp or something. I have not done the story with the vampire looking guy yet, and that's probably going to be the next video. But This was the south camp of Village South. This was Village South of Hedgem. We're going to try the other Hedgem location to see if that takes us to the same spot. It probably does, but we have to check, and I don't want to look anything up online. Also, this game is very, very new, so looking up stuff, um, probably pretty difficult. I tried to look up, like, one of the components to make the heal over time potions in case things got nasty. And it's like, mm, there's really nothing available. A couple YouTube vids. All right, so let's go back here. That was Hedgem South. That's where we are. We're going to go... To 
west. That was south, we're gonna go west. I think it's gonna be the same DLC area, but hey, it's just a couple loading screens to explore and do some science. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's, that's what we're gonna do. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, so if I run backwards, is it gonna be missed camp? Okay, cancel. So that's missed camp. As expected, that'll be the same place. And then now we're gonna go to the next zone. You would think they would put that little cinematic clip over the loading screen instead of having it as a separate, just skippable thing. You know, it, it adds a little bit of atmosphere. This game does do pretty well with atmosphere, but whatever. It's a loading screen, I'll live. I will live. It is true, I keep wanting to go over there. It is true that I really, really, really want to get back to my PC, my big old honking PC, but we're going to add a meter. I gotta say that mobile gaming has come so far, and there's a handful of people out there that just don't have a big old PC that can handle games worth the heck and whatnot. I'm sure a lot of people have phones in their hands and pockets more so than have good gaming PCs and all that. I get that. And, you know, if my game development stuff ever gets off the ground, one of the big initiatives I'm going to have is putting good games in the hands of everybody that has a device. But I do want to have everything cross-platform and all that good stuff. Okay. Is it Mist Camp? It's also Mist Camp. I'm going to try one more spot. I feel like this kind of wraps it. I was kind of hoping that every, every different town had its own little DLC zone thing. But we're going to go back to Mist Camp one more time and try to see... Um, what the heck we can do. Maybe there's something obvious. Maybe there's like a, something in the fire that I just didn't see that I gotta pick up as a torch or something. Or maybe I have to do the other DLC um, to get an item that allows this to happen, but... Either way, what is the next zone I gotta be at? Is it Exilium? I think I do need to be at Exilium. No, maybe it's Edith. We're just looking at some stuff. Karst. It's not that. You can see I ran through here real quick. I didn't even get all the little checkpoint things. It's not Katib. That's in like the forest. I think it's Exilium. Stagnant Windway. Just double checking some stuff. No, I think it's, it's E. Yeah. Yeah, the shore. Of course it's the shore. So, you get the DLC. First off, one of the DLC is like $1. The other DLC is like 3 bucks. Um, the costume that I have on Viola is like 1 buck or something like that. And I think this game was either free or maybe it was 5 bucks or something like that. I know games that have any cost whatsoever get completely overlooked because there's just a, a vast ocean of completely free-to-play games that have microtransactions shops instead but this has been the most worth five bucks i've spent i gotta say okay i think i'm in the right spot we're gonna switch to my girl we're gonna get her favorite bullets up she's more fun to play the second time i ran through since i i was his friend the first time the second time i should have elected to fight him but there is a boss mode where i'll get to battle him anyways and he was such a bro he was a good dude that um, we were friends with him again the second time around. I didn't really film any of the New Game Plus boss fights. I thought about it, but mm, they're close enough. And a lot of these fights, I had struggles the first time going through, but as you would imagine, the second time. Even though the boss is a lot more difficult in some spots, I was able to kind of just, you know, make it happen. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, there is a place back here. Oop, I went the wrong way. There is a place back here that there was a wall and a ship and you can see a shore and some items. And you're like, how do I get over there? I don't know. 
What is the sound? Also, I haven't in the in this is New Game Plus again. That nice little view right there. Um, I haven't gotten up there and kicked down the ladder. I don't even remember how to do that. I don't know if I'm going to try to 100% New Game Plus. Oh, how quickly I forget. This is a farm spot, though, if you want to. Did he die? Ooh. These guys drop tails, and the tails you can use for heal over time potions. So, well, I could just run by. While I could just run by. Hopefully we get some tails on these fools. Active syndrals have been full, you can only hold 99. I have had a lot. I've been at 99 for quite a while. And it's really annoying because I like to pick up all the loot. That's one of the things that tells me that I've been everywhere. But I can't even find a place to sell or use active syndrals. Hey look, even more active syndrals. Get our loot all. Oh, good. There we go. Got some ammo. All right. So, anyways, previously there was a wall here. You finish this zone and you come back, and then the wall's gone. And there's some stuff. You can kill these. This is also a component for the heal over time potion. I'm full of ammo. You didn't drop one. There's some treasure chests back there. This is also another way to get here. There's a there was a wall there before you defeat the zone. There is something up here that I don't know how to do. Probably because I wasn't really paying attention, but... Conrad, Albert, Andrew, the names card on the stella, silently recounting the determination of the Demiurges. Those are the Demiurges who joined the revolt voluntarily. A collective tombstone. They were ready to give up their lives. It gives you a little quest where you're like, hey, do something about those names. And I haven't figured it out. But anyways, we can kill these guys. They drop some bones and whatnot. And there's some chests over here that don't really matter. But anyways. Alright. But here, this is DLC. This is as far as I've gotten. Everything alright? Forgive me. I was lost in thought from these tranquil waves. I didn't expect to find accessoria scarlet media in just a few short months. All our difficulties have finally borne fruit. I hope this journey won't take too long. Then, let's set sail immediately. I guess this is supposed to take place before you go to Teresa. Because of the way the, the whole story ends, it's the only way that it would fit in. There's our buddy. The crow slash hawk, also known as a croc. Or crow slash owl, crowl. That's some good looking wooden graphics here. Nice. don't like to fly when it's raining. see <laughs> game over What if that was it? What if that was just like the entire DLC? 
It's like instead of going and getting Teresa, you just get smashed by some sea monster. I thought that was a second ship coming out of the water, kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean ghost style. Yes, of course we didn't sink like a rock covered in metal armor. <coughs> Curses. I hate boats. Oh, I can't switch my hero. That's all. Glenn! Gerald! I hope their luck was better than mine. Glenn is the bird. Gerald is the... Is this whole zone walk? Okay, no, she's a cute thing. Gwen's bird, Gerald is vampire looking guy. How are you doing, Tom? Alright, we'll, we'll get where we get. Alright, this might be where we get. Well! We can't switch heroes, which is, uh, that's a thing. We got a lot of levels on us. Although, the, the diminishing return is so high. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what level you are, but... You know what? Let's continue. I don't want to do a 15-minute video. You know, we can go a little bit longer. If you walk in deep water, you instantly die. It's worth mentioning. Oh, yeah, treasure. Words. I might actually read that. Like, that would kill me. Sometimes you gotta kind of angle it to see if it's like a secret pathway in the water. Is my brightness all the way up? I hope so. Alright, let's go to documents, last words. Time seems to flow chaotically before my eyes. The soul and the flesh are being relentlessly torn and discarded into the endless void. Okay, it's not that long. I saw divine giants falling one after another, extinguishing light that used to be perpetual. I saw the first uncorrupted life slowly germinating and bursting in a, in a lovely and burning world. And with a loud bang, it all came to an end. Everything started afresh. But I had no place to go. All I could do was drift around and around in the cycle of reincarnation. I usually don't read those things. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, oh yeah. We really have to touch the butt. Can't be open right now. You tell me I gotta open that and go in there. All right. Wait. And then what is this? I'll put you back on sanity potions. I thought you were fish food. Guess I'm not very tasty. So, this is Ichthyosauria. Ichthyosauria. You should ask the guy who brought us here. If he's still alive. It looks like this storm won't let him for a while. So you might as well go and look for clues. But this old bag of bones can't take any more of this. I need to rest here for a while. Don't worry. My owl will catch up with you soon. Oh, I thought he turns into the owl. I guess he just has the owl and talks through it like a familiar. Can he take this me? This looks like a safe place. There ain't no going back. He can't take me back to. Uh, that would make sense story wise. I've done all of the new game plus. It looks like we're not alone here. Yeah. These shattered planks. They've been here a long time. The breath of life somewhere. A 
and all the new game plus up until um, where you go into the underworld. As far as like main story wise, what are you? What are, you? are you gonna be some new crazy high damage enemy? Oh, well, that, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Charge up some rage. Sometimes you will jump off spot for the secret. Ichthyus area. That's new. I kind of feel like those notes leave a little something to be desired. If some piece of lore is going to stop the action, it's really got to be worth it. Because it kind of like the way they do the bird, I think it's good. He tells you the essential dialogue, but it doesn't stop you. He's kind of like talking over your shoulder. You got a little combo. But the action itself does not stop. And then I guess we... Be cool if I can break this. There's not a lot, if any, destructible stuff. It's Gerald. Uh oh. Is he dead or something? <coughs> Do you think he's gonna die soon? Monster comes and just swats him and he's dead. I hope Gerald. <coughs> Quick. Enter the cave. The Sindral's effect on you is getting stronger. Don't worry. I'll get it under control before we gave this Scarlet Media Fragment to Lord Ebbinghouse. I don't know about that. This curse will become my strength. As long as Ixitoria can be saved, I will have no regrets. Even if I become a monster. Yeah, so the chances of us fighting his monster form at the in the end is like a hundred percent. But that should be fun. Also really good voice acting on him. Alright, looks like I can freely go home. I'm expecting an altar soon. Uh -oh. What? What? Be nice to have Viola. What on earth happened to you? That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. How did the Soul River dried up? Uh, my head hurts again. It's like the past is starting to fade from my mind. That something is messing with your head. Maybe you bumped it. Or maybe it's the Sandrail. Looks like we need to see Evan House as soon as possible to get some answers. He said the source of the Soul River. Walk upstream along the river to find him. Have you noticed our surroundings? It's like we're inside a creature's body. And the scent of death is wafting up to greet us. You guessed right. Ixesori is actually an ancient creature that has long gone extinct. We followed Lord Ebbinghouse here to escape the central. Oh, just great. Now we're all fish food. Don't worry. Ixesori won't hurt us. We're bounded in life. Whatever the case, I just hope I can live to see this Lord Ebbinghouse. I get to... He's a hero, I get to play, what? I have a good amount of currency saved up. I could probably level him out pretty strong. Gerald is a dexterous swordsman who is able to evade consecutively up to four times when Sendril Ordeal is charged. That's an interesting name. <clears throat> Gerald delivers Sendril marks on his foes, which enable his combat skills to deal extra damage. With more stacks of Sendril marks, Gerald's foes take more brutal punishment. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped. Maybe I should have just been clicking. 
well. I did not expect being able to play him. That is awesome. There is a ladder over there. Uh, give me an easy enemy. He does hit pretty good. Alright, he doesn't dodge super far. Hello. Hello. Okay, alright, okay. We're about to get whooped. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not good. We don't have any healing potions for you. I should probably not run and aggro everything here. So he's not doing a ton of damage. I think I might need to get to an altar and try to level him up, but whatever. Like, look at that. Look how small that damage is. Maybe you just have to use his special... I don't know. I'm, just, I'm mashing buttons at this point. I don't know what's going on. I'm also out of stamina. He got wood. Little bit of a tight room. But, like, look at... Compare that damage. Very, very simple play. Unless I was just misplaying him grossly. Like, look at the difference. I swear I can play this game, guys. I swear I can play it. Yeah, but we'll figure him out in a, in a little bit. But I'm looking for an altar. We're going to wrap this up. I'll do another video. I might video the entire thing of the DLC. Should I go there yet? Hello. Can I block you? If I angle this well, I could probably eat you off. Hmm. See, guys, I can play this game. Is there anything I missed back here? A lot of bulls. Oh, there's my altar. Right in front of my face. Alright, I guess I could keep those. Uh, what are we doing? Health. Do I want to craft some of these? I'll just keep the resources. Okay. Oh, maybe that's why he sucked, because uh, he needed to get leveled up. Maybe that's why. Dex does not seem to be his thing. Strength isn't crazy. Health. Hmm. Is he an endurance main? Look at how much attack he's getting. So he's supposed to just have stupid endurance? Because if I go Dex, he's not really getting... I thought he was going to be a Dex boy. Maybe they didn't want another, another Dex boy with... Um, what's her name? Hmm. Watch, uh, this is probably the, the worst way to do it. You can reset their stats if you really want. I'm probably supposed to mix them up a little bit more, but the only hero that I haven't gone completely all one stat is uh, Terrence. And I'm just going to kind of keep doing it. But you can reset this if you want. So that's not too bad. And then over here. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to read everything. We are gonna buy everything. Wait, is this a new currency that I don't? These are new currencies. What the hell is that middle one? Huh. Requires a sea tooth bone. 
Wait, first off, let's go. Okay, Terrence hasn't changed at all. Okay, okay. This is why he got his butt whooped. He didn't have all his points. I should read all these things. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll spend all this stuff, and then I will read a bunch of things, and then I'll start the next video, but we'll do the spending here. I saw him only having two potions, too. I was like, what is this? What is this silliness? Oh, that's sanity. Who cares about sanity? I do have a ton of Amunduses. Health potion. That Norwood could carry? They called him Norwood. It's messed up. I never use healing potions. Damage consuming, potions used. But yeah, I'll probably come back here and uh, read up on what I'm actually getting. Less rage to do abilities. That would be really good on every single hero that I've played so far. So we need some sea tooth bones. Alright, well, let's zoom out. Is there anything that I missed? Up oh, down here in Sanity Land. It is kind of nice that they didn't just completely give up on the Sanity uh, mechanic towards the end of the game. Okay, so I'll do some reading on him, and I will see you guys in the next Pascal's Wager DLC video.